pretty much like give you the idea that when you're at that high RPM, seven or 8,000 RPM, that air gases is just being packed on this area. Since this is bigger, you have more ways to expel that hot gases pointing directly to the turbine compared to this one. Keep it in there for about an hour or so. That should do it. double checking make sure that there's no damage on the turbine if you happen to have a, a used turbo that you want to put on on your car it's a good idea to make sure to check the turbine blades make sure it's not uh, damaged or anything like that and always make sure there's no scraping marks on the housing welcome back to the channel Sagit Net 2 today's episode Turbine housing. I have said it on the last episode that I wanted to use a uh, 0.63 rear housing because I want to spool up at lower RPM, which is from my past experience, I kind of like the 63 housing. Uh, these two turbo right here, well, make it three. It is a uh, 63 rear housing and I have enjoyed it quite a lot. Uh, don't get me wrong, 82, I like 82 rear housing too. The idea of revving past 7,000 on this motor, uh, it's quite of an experience. It's <laughs> if you ever built a G23, <laughs> man, it accelerates faster. This thing loves to rev. And you couple it with a turbocharger, yeah, you won't be disappointed, of course. Uh, what comes to it is a responsibility make sure that you are taking care of it uh, heat soaking is one of the uh, worst enemy you always constantly on your feet trying to figure out what is going on on your engines anyway back to this one I got another uh, replacement for it right here and that's what the episode is all about. Uh, I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. Yeah, you could tell already. It's considerably 82 is bigger. And also the inlet is a bit bigger compared to this one. As the inlet area curls up, which is the volute, they call it. Here you can see the opening right here from where it opens. It's right in this area compared to a 63, which it opens a little bit sooner. Right about in this area. Yeah, see the difference. Yeah, quite a bit. And also this is wider compared to this one. The size of that passage, what it will give me, it will deliver a quick acceleration of the turbine right here because it's getting tighter and tighter compared to this one. But at the top end will be sacrifice since everything at higher rpm all that hot gases is being packed in there and <laughs> can't get out anymore compared to this one right here if all my components are perfectly matched like the air intakes the size of the uh, 
charge piping, throttle body, everything should work perfectly. It should, in theory. <laughs> and the only way to find out really is put everything together and put on a dyno. And this one here, I need to widen this because of the uh, the flange is bigger there it's almost the same size as this uh, gasket right here and it will be a restriction if I don't do anything if I don't port this one same as that T3 flange that I made the collector yeah, I need to uh, get rid of that material a little bit. This one, I did something with it right here, as you can see. Yeah. It's okay if this is bigger and that one is smaller. Yeah, no problem with, with that. But since the, uh, the uh, collector flange is bigger, instead of the hot gases going directly through it, it, it will bounce. It will have a curling effect. A blockage right here so I need to widen this one before I clean this up and put it on the oven so I can get rid of the oil and also I have to uh, port match to the size of this gasket right here for new beginners new on turbocharging there's plenty of uh, turbocharger to choose from you can't decide which one to get I recommend to get a turbo that has a 63 rear housing and you won't be disappointed on this one. Yeah, you will have some uh, lots of fun. And once you uh, <laughs> once you got tired of uh, this one here and you wanted the uh, top end, which is it can go up to 8000 RPM. If your motor is capable of doing so, well supported with cams and everything, throttle body, intake charge, uh, try 82. Yeah, you might like it. But for me, uh, I'm going to stick with the 63 housing. Uh, it's, there's a lot of, it, it's much fun driving this one. It's because of the boost, it's earlier. This will give me the acceleration that I need at lower RPM, which is I think 4,000 up to 7,000. If I can get up to 8,000, that would be good. But I know I'll be gasping for air once it reach or pass that 7,000 range. I'll sacrifice my top end compared to this one here. This one, yeah, it's been fun. For what my intent use of the car, it's just not good for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very successful using this one. Uh, if you need to know more about the uh, AR, uh, the difference between the two housing, the numbers and everything, there's always a lot of information that you could find on YouTube and on the website. But I'm just explaining through my experience and what I know when it comes to using these two different housing. This is where I'm going to end this video and thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, okay? And hit that like button. Bye everyone, till the next episode. It's coming along. Okay, looking good. I think that should be enough.
there should be no restriction in there whatsoever right on it's pretty cool that is pretty cool man It's already uh, clean. I sprayed some uh, brake cleaner on there. Get rid of the uh, oil preservatives. Let's go pop it in the oven. Uh, keep it in there for about an hour or so. Or whenever I feel like. Don't worry, that's an old uh, toaster oven. <laughs> we no longer use it uh, inside the house. <laughs> Safe to use. It's fresh out from the oven. Should do it. The Cerakote ceramic coating is air cured, but I kind of speed up the process on this one, on this housing. Fresh out from the oven, I took it out and sprayed some uh, ceramic on there. I say it's a lot better than this thing turning black or brown or something. Whether it helps reduce the temperature or not, yeah, I still kind of like having the ceramic coating on there. This is the C-Series. It should be air cured. So the longer I let it uh, dry, the better it is. I think I'm going to try without the uh, header wrapper first. Then maybe afterwards I'm going to wrap it. We'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. Bye everyone, I'll see you guys on the next.